He's Marcus uh, Mariota, the Oregon quarterback, sophomore quarterback, who joins us uh, on the show. Uh, Marcus, let me start with that. Who are you rooting for as a football fan, A&M and Alabama this weekend? Mm, um, well, thank you for having me, first of all. You're welcome. Um, but, you know, my main concern really isn't about that game. Oh, so. as a football fan. I know you got Tennessee to worry about. But <laughs> well, I, once that's no, over. Honestly, we play them at the same time, so I couldn't even really keep track of the, of the uh, other game. Okay, when your game is done and you've won and you guys have put up 42 points and you feel good, then you watch the highlights. Are you going to be curious about what happens in the A and M Alabama game as a college football fan? Mm, you know, and I'm I'm being I'm speaking this from the truth. I I really I really wouldn't be. Um, you know, that's that's not going to affect us at all. That's not going to affect um, you know who we got next. And um, in all honesty, um, I mean, I'm sure I'll see the highlights, but you know, I'm not leaning one way or the other. Um, I'm just really trying to focus on on Tennessee this week. Did you were you on a recruiting trip with Manziel at Oregon? Did you ever cross paths? I um I had we met actually at the uh, the summer camp uh, before our senior years. So I I had uh, I had met him there, and then um you know we kind of I mean uh, once upon a time he was committed, and um you know I think you know we built kind of a quick relationship because we thought we were going to be teammates, and um, yeah I mean and that. Uh, that's that's kind of where I first met him was at this at at a at a Oregon football camp in the summer. So you would have been competing for the uh, quarterbacking job with him. Yep, if he uh, if he had stayed um, and you know stayed to his commitment. You grew up in Hawaii. Why Oregon? Um, for me, it was when I was this whole recruiting process. It was the best fit. Um, you know, I I come from a, a small you know relatively small island and. Um, you know, this, this community of Eugene is, is small and, you know, it reminded me a lot of home. And then obviously I had a, had a great relationship with the coaches and, um, you know, the university itself, academics and, um, just the, all around, you know, it, it felt like the best fit for me. And, you know, I, I just felt comfortable. We've given a lot of thought and talk about college athletes being paid. How much can you pay them? How much is enough to get them through? You're on scholarship at Oregon. How much money, extra money, would make a difference in your life? Um, that's a good question. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we're we're very blessed and we're very thankful to have a scholarship to be able to, to get, um, you know, the opportunity to further education. Um, you know, but, you know, as a, as a 19-year-old student athlete, you know, you, you wouldn't mind having a little more money in your pocket. Um, How much? I couldn't give you a specific number, to be honest with you. But uh, would a hundred dollars a month be a difference maker for you in your life at uh, at Oregon? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think any any amount of money would 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 make a difference. Um, you know, this, you know, for me personally, um, you know, if you if I had a little more money, it it you know mean I could go home a little more often. You know, it's just different. There's different stuff, guys. Guys, mm-hmm. everyone's an individual, and you know, there's different reasons why guys you know, would, would appreciate a little more money in their, in their hands. But, you know, like I said, we're very blessed and we're very thankful to have the opportunity to, you know, further education and with scholarships and with some of this financial aid. He's uh, Marcus Mariota, the uh, Oregon quarterback. They host Tennessee coming up this weekend. Joining us, Dan Patrick Show. When you're watching your former coach, Chip Kelly, and the Eagles on Monday night, tell me what you see before the play actually happens, having – played in that system or at least a, a hybrid of that system watching them um you know I, it's it's like I don't, it's exciting to watch first of all um you know before the play you can kind of see um you know maybe maybe uh some similar formations and stuff but i mean do you know what's them. coming before the play happens uh no <laughs> he's I, I feel like he's changed it up enough to where even guys around here, you know, couldn't really couldn't tell you what, what they expected. Or So that's or different they, than what you've run at Oregon when Chip was there. Yeah, for sure. Wow. What advice would you give NFL defenses trying to go against Chip Kelly's offense? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe get in shape because he's not, he's not going to slow down. <laughs> he's not going to slow down anytime soon. You know, uh, he's going to, he's going to keep pushing that tempo and, um, yeah, I mean, best advice would be uh, to kind of buckle up and get in shape. Did you know when players were faking injuries to try to slow down your offense? Um, yes. You know, you, you kind of 
you see a guy look to the sideline and then he, he'll uh, <laughs> he'll kind of just numberly fall down and you're like, okay, you know. But I think I think you know our our fans here at home at Austin, they kind of recognize that stuff too. So you know, if a guy does do that, you know, they they uh, they they let him hear it. They give him a hard time about it. When you see Chip's offense being run in the NFL, and granted, it's only one game. What does that do, or does that change with your thoughts on playing in the NFL? Um, I think just just seeing the zone read kind of uh, phase into the NFL. I think that's that's pretty cool. I mean, any dual threat quarterback, you know, it's 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 pretty fun to watch because you you know as a as a as a player you have the opportunity to both run and pass and. Um, you know, you, you feel like you you can bring a dynamic, uh, you know, play making ability to to an offense when you know you have that opportunity to both run and pass. So, I think just watching the NFL and watching how uh, some of these offenses are starting to implement, you know, some of this zone read stuff, and you know, even watching Coach Kelly, it's it's an exciting exciting thing for a player like me. You seem pretty chill. How, how, how are you? I mean, that's the whole Hawaii type vibe, I think. But how are you in the? What do you sound like when you get mad? I don't. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> you don't get mad during a game. I mean, obviously I do, but you know, I, I think in my position you can't. You can't really let the motions get best of you. You have to kind of stay level headed. But what do you sound what? like at the line of scrimmage calling an audible? I got eighty thousand people screaming. You can't be changing a play sounding um, like this. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm going to pick up my voice, but well, you know, let me hear it. Let me hear it. Call oh, me, God, call me a fake audible here. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Come on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be in the in the situation the, in the game. You know, that's that's somewhere. All right, Tennessee is ready to blitz you. <laughs> okay, you're, you're at your own 23 yard line, and here they come, and you see it, you know it, and you change the play. I just you, honestly, I go up to Hornets and say, "Hey, that dude's coming, man. You better, we better." Start wait, wait, wait! Him. But you don't do, "Hey, that dude's coming." <laughs> I just, I'm, I'll be like, "Hornets, this guy's coming. Let's move, the, let's move the protection that way." And that's it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be a little bit more complex than that, Marcus. No, not at all. Because I got to yell, "That guy's coming right there! <laughs> that guy's coming!" See, that's how you take command. You're right. I, I I have I have my moments of that, but right now I don't think is it is the time. <laughs> well, good luck against Tennessee. Great talk to you, you, and uh, congrats so far with the success there. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, Marcus Mariotto. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.